Margot Kidder was 20 when she began her film career in 1968. She was one of the few women to rise to fame during the period of the so-called New American Cinema of the late 1960s and 1970s. Strictly speaking, Kidder and others formed a Canadian version of the New American Cinema, and her Canadianness both saved her life and did her in, as it did Joni Mitchell and Neil Young during the same period. If you were gorgeous and Canadian at this time, you dated Brian De Palma and Pierre Trudeau, and you appeared in horror and other genre films with one hand, while with the other you remade European New Wave classics badly. At her best, Margot Kidder gave her audiences the sheer exhilaration of a shiny, perfect pitch. Among her best work, I count De Palma's sisters, where she plays these murderous Siamese twins, well really they're conjoined murderous Canadian twins. And she also made uh, Black Christmas, which she takes play another horror picture that's set in a Canadian sorority for sexy starlets of the 70s. And Superman, well most of us know her from Superman because she was Lois Lane. But it wasn't always roses for our subject, Margot Kidder. She was forced to co-star opposite some extremely dud leading man guys. Guys who you might want to date, but they just didn't cut it as movie stars. Even saying their names. Michael Sarazen. Michael Ankeen. Well, they're all called Michael. But saying those names gives me this little touch of panic. I'm surprised that the movies even survived this era when the studios seemed to think that you could just put whoever up on the screen, a novelty, and people would watch the movie because the subject was interesting. Poor Margot Kidder married her opposite number, the actor John Hurd. Then she married the Western novelist Thomas McGuane. And then she married the French director, Philippe de Broca, the great French director of de Broca. Mean people whispered behind her back that she was, she thought that she was marrying Brian de Palma and that she was just confused. Wikipedia, of course, puts it best when they tell us that none of her marriages lasted more than a year. We watched her grow older at the mo in the movies, and even when the movies grew foul, we still were fond of her. When she stumbled off her medications and wound up a homeless victim of street abuse, it was truly terrifying. <sighs> Nobody deserves that. Well, maybe Ryan Seacrest. Let us always carry on, shining and polishing that little bit of Margot Kidder that each of us carries in our heart.